so hello friends welcome back to this channel so hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so this is data analytics with python week 8 assignment so friends in this video i'm going to give you the probable solutions for this so if there is any change i will update in the comment section and if you know uh, there is any change to be made to, to the solutions you can suggest me in the comment section so at the final submission once again go through this comment section if there is any update i will give or anybody give the suggestions so let's see the first question now which of the following methods do we use to best fit the data in logistic regression so for first question the answer is option 2 maximum likelihood so the answer is maximum likelihood so guys i want to tell you that i am planning to make preparation videos and i am already doing different courses so for data analytics with python if you want uh, the preparation videos and if there are at least I mean 10 to 15 members or 10 to 20 members as a classmates if you if you can join i will make this data analytics course also as per now there is no requirement uh, came from anyone so if this is your semester subject or if you if there are uh, some classmates for you to do this course i will do this video so if you confirm me in the comment section uh, whether you want data analytics with python or not as per that requirement i will make the videos as of now i have didn't done any video regarding data analytics with python but if there are sufficient members you can tell me after if you join in the 89 rupees pack just 89 rupees so here if you click on join beside the subscribe button there is three types of packs 119 and 89 for live videos if i upload you can get for 89 i mean 119 pack if you want only recorded practice video just 89 rupees you can join that so not only single course you can get all the videos that i upload for 89 rupees only it is it is very good offer guys so especially for students so if you can join at least 10 to 20 members if you, uh, of your classmates i will do i will definitely do the data analytics with python course so for that you need to comment in the comment section so that at least 10 members or 15 or 20 members are there then i can do that so let's see the second question now already many people have joined here for different types of courses if you confirm me that you are at least 10 to 15 or 10 to 20 members i will do that video after you join in the membership so let's see the second question now which of the following evaluation metrics cannot be applied in case of logistic regression output to compare with target so what is the solution for second question so the answer is fourth option mean squared error mean squared error is the answer so let's move on to the third question now so third question let f of x denote the logistic function the range of f of x for any real value of x is so generally f of x the range of a logistic function will always between 0 and 1 so mark option 1 so moving on to the fourth question which of the following option is true so they have given four uh, options and they are asking which of the following is true so for fourth question the probable answer is first option linear regression errors values has to be normally distributed but in case of logistic regression it is not the case that means it is not normally distributed so mark first option 
as the probable one. Next question. So, for the figure given below, which decision boundary is overfitting the training data? So guys, this is the given three diagrams, A, B and C. So they are asking, uh, which decision boundary is overfitting the training data? So for fifth question, the answer is third one, options, I mean, figure number C. Figure C is overfitting the data. So here, in the given options, answer is C, third option. So mark third option as correct one. And moving on to the sixth question. Select the correct alternatives from the following based on the figure. So same figure like fifth question, they are asking select the correct alternatives. So for sixth question, the correct statements are the first one, the trading error in first plot is maximum compared to the second and third. And the next options are third option. The second model is more robust than first and third because it will perform best on unseen data. And the other option is, I mean other statement is fourth option. The third model is overfitting more as compared to the first and second. So third model is overfitting second one is more robust than other first one is have maximum training error than remaining so the answer is third option one three and four are correct so let's move on to the seventh question now so for categorical data with n categories the number of dummy variables will be so what are the number of dummy variables for categorical data with n categories? So for seventh question, the probable answer is second option, n minus one. So guys, if there are any changes I have found, I will definitely update in the comment section. And if you feel there should be any changes, please comment in the comment section. So others will also be able to note that. I hope almost all solutions are correct. Next question. Eighth one, in binary logistic regression, so which of the following options are correct? So the probable answer is so the answer is third option. The dependent variable consists of two categories. The name itself represents binary. Binary means two. So the dependent variable consists of two categories. So for eighth question, the probable answer is option C. Next, moving on to the ninth question. If the number of false negatives is five and number of true positives is 20, the value of the recall will be so what is the value of recall so the answer for this question is third option again that is 0 0.8 answer is 0 0.8 Next question, that is final question of the assignment, 10th one, if the precision is 0 0.6 and the recall value is 0 0.4, so the value of F measure will be, so they are asking that value of F measure with precision 0 0.6 and recall value 0 0.4. So here the formula, so F measure is equals 2 into precision into recall value divided by precision plus recall value. So the answer is 2 into 0 
zero point six into zero point four divided by zero point six plus zero point four. So denominator will be one, right? So we can uh, no need to calculate this. So two into zero point six, one point two into zero point four. Twelve fours forty eight. And before the two digits, there is point. So 0.48 is the correct answer for first question. I mean tenth question. So mark first option. So friends, these are the solutions for week eight assignment of data analytics with using Py uh, with Python course. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video, and share this to your friends. And guys, as I said above, if you are at least a uh, a good sufficient number of classmates if you uh, you are preparing for this course i will definitely do video on that based on your request and after you join the membership i will definitely do this videos so for that i need some confirmation from you for join by joining this member just 89 rupees membership so before joining just message me that you are sufficient number of people then i can do that videos so until the next video goodbye thank you